always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. 517 now on this Thursday morning. We are waking up to a cold and quiet morning, looking at great visibility out over the Ford Freeway in downtown Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Stadium Drive, the campus of Western Michigan University. We topped out in the low 40s in Grand Rapids yesterday. Kalamazoo, you hit 50 degrees, 10 degrees warmer than average. And today we've taken a giant step backward in terms of those temperatures. Readings uh, in most areas won't make it out of the low 30s. We are tracking a developing storm system out west, which is going to have Pretty big impact on our weekend weather. Warm and wet weather developing. With the wet weather arriving later Saturday, and then temperatures will be falling behind the system on Sunday. The short term, though, not much going on out there today. We'll even see some sunshine with temps in the teens and low 20s. Those winds are out of the north this morning at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So the wind chills are generally holding only in the teens. So certainly want that warm winter jacket to head out the door. We'll enjoy at least a mixture of clouds and sunshine today. The sky where we are seeing the sunshine will be bright. And Blue just because of that cold air that's in place aloft. System from yesterday that produced that light wintry mix yesterday afternoon has cleared out. And here we go with that next area of active weather starting to brew out west uh, for today and tonight. We've got high pressure in control of our weather, but as that moves out of the way uh, for Friday, it will open the door for a little more moisture to move in. So clouds will be on the increase on Friday. And we're watching this developing very complicated storm system out to our west. And that is going to be producing the wet weather for us, especially by later on. On Saturday. Set up in the atmosphere, we're going to replace the cold air for today and tomorrow with some warmer air building in with that strong southerly flow aloft. In terms of precipitation, here's the future cast, and you can see by 8 o'clock Saturday morning, most of us are looking at dry conditions. And notice Saturday. Saturday is going to be a warm day with increasing clouds. By 9 o'clock in the evening, the rain still not overspreading the area. That rain starting to really overspread late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. As that system clears out, we're opening for that colder air to settle back in with falling temperatures on Sunday, some snow on Monday, and there we go with temperatures pretty close to average as we head into the early to middle part of next week. So, Tom, how are drivers doing so far this morning? Well, right now things are uh, running pretty good out there across area roadways. Want to keep you reminding or keep reminding you about uh, a project that went into place yesterday in the Grand Haven area that uh, caused some significant slowdowns, especially during uh, those peak morning and evening commutes. Uh, uh, double lane closure southbound US 31, only one lane. Open now uh, between Third Street and Jackson. You actually shift over to the northbound lanes uh, in this construction project, which uh, northbound lanes are affected as well. Down to two lanes between Jackson and M104, and one lane between M104 and Third Street. There are also some ramp closures uh, that go along with this uh, construction project. The ramp from westbound M104 to southbound US31, uh, that is closed, as is the exit ramp from southbound US31 to uh, eastbound M104. So Heads up, that, that construction project continues today. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15. Teresa and Donovan. Okay, thank you, sir.